So, Liz, how did you and Heather enjoy your trip to Egypt? It was great. The two of us had so much fun. I brought a couple of snapshots from the trip. You call that a couple? They have fewer photos on the internet. Garfield, did you know that in ancient Egypt, cats were worshipped like gods? Some of them were even embalmed and buried in their master's sarcophagus. Buried? You call that worship? Oh, and John, I brought you a little souvenir from Cairo. The old man who sold it to me at the market said it was an ancient artifact, but I'm sure it's just a copy. Wow. Thank you, Liz. How cool is that? The man's excited by an old mirror. Hey, put some of that gratitude in feeding us all. Me especially. Garfield's right. I'd better go get dinner on the table. Okay if I help? How about we play hide and seek? How about if you hide and we don't seek? One, two, three, four. I'll consider hiding when she hits 80 or so. As if I didn't have enough problems already. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore, Odie, or anywhere else. Hey, would you be careful with those things? I like my fur the way it is on a living body. We are your humble servants, Master. This way, Your Excellence. Ah, this is more like it. Bad jackal! I am Nefertiti. High Priestess of the Goddess Katra. Um, whatever you say. Uh, more grapes, please. And uh, would you mind peeling them? As you wish, great leader. Ahem. You uh, ahem? A long time ago, cats were not just worshipped by ancient Egyptians. Cats ruled over them. Men were merely our slaves, building us monuments and pyramids. But one day, thousands of years ago, the men dared to rebel against us. Defeated, we were banished into another dimension through a magic mirror. Uh, could you skip to the end? I never liked educational programs. According to an ancient prophecy, an orange cat and his pet jackal will appear one day. Jackal? Oh, you mean Odie. Is that supposed to be me? The orange cat shall become our new pharaoh, and we will worship him for 2,000 years. You want to worship me and feed me? Who am I to deny my adoring public? You shall have all you wish for, as soon as we're done with the crowning ceremony. Good. Can we get it over with in time for lunch? <laughs> Hey, not so tight. You want to stop my breathing? No, that will come soon enough. Big moment of fame. I, 
Nether Kitty, High Priestess of the Goddess Kepra, crown you Pharaoh, my lord. <laughs> I present you with those two symbols of your immortal dominion. <laughs> That's enough grapes to last someone a lifetime. For me, about an hour. In the sarcophagus, an hour will be your lifetime. <laughs> you never mentioned anything about putting me into that over-decorated phone booth. Didn't I? Oh, must have slipped off my mind. See, our previous pharaoh was getting a little, um... Oh. Hey, thanks for inviting me to be Pharaoh, but I just remembered a previous engagement to not have my life in. Oh. Oh. If you need me, I'll be in here. Ouch. Hail to our new Pharaoh! Hail to our new Pharaoh, that we shall worship and adore for the next 2,000 years. The least you could have done was give me the grapes. Thanks, I guess. Be silent. There's no talking in a sarcophagus. Oh, sorry. It's dark in here and I couldn't read the sign. The day of our new pharaoh shall be the day of our new freedom and ascendancy. <laughs> You are rattling the temple with your snoring. Whoops. Guess I didn't tell you I'm a loud sleeper, did I? People in the next state sometimes call and complain about the noise. Didn't you hear what I said? Be silent! Huh? <laughs> that suits you way better. <gasps> Why, you guys! Don't let him get away! Fasten your seatbelt, Nefer Kitty. This is gonna be one bumpy ride. <laughs> this way, Odie. Catch them! This way. That's our exit, Odie. Quick. Pupster. How did you open it? Try to remember. Use your brain. Wow. So, the prophecy was right. The day we crowned our new pharaoh was indeed the day of our freedom. I shall gather all my troops. We shall cross through the magic gate and wage a war that will enslave mankind and grant us full world domination! <laughs> well, we already have full world domination. What on earth do you mean? <gasps> Modern day cats already rule humans. They feed us and pet us and buy us annoying kitty toys and let us sleep just about anywhere we want to and all day. Hey. We want to sleep all day. And we did it in such a clever and subtle way that the humans still haven't figured out that they're our slaves. You want to mess with that? And have someone serve us freshly baked lasagna. Wait! If this is true, take me to your world so I can see it for myself. This way, your highness. Uh, but I'd lose the Egyptian suit if I were you, just to uh, keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it! I'm 
free! I'm free! John, where did this beautiful cat come from? Never saw her before. Maybe she belongs to one of the neighbors. Oh, I don't see any identification tattoo or collar. Oh, unhand me, filthy mortal. <gasps> oh, what a beautiful kitty. Can I hold her? Sure. Can I keep her, Auntie Liz? Can I? Can I? I've always wanted a kitty. Oh, if no neighbor comes looking for her, sure, why not? <laughs> High Priestess, is that you? No point in letting them go to waste. Just being on the safe side, we wouldn't want any conquests of mankind. Oh, we're gonna be such great friends. I'll name you Fuzz Button. <gasps> Fuzz Button! And we'll get you your own sandbox, and maybe a cat your mouse, no. and then I'll spend it. No! I must rule the world! I Hey, that's how it is sometimes. One day you're the high priestess of the planet, the next day you're Fuzz Button. care who it is. Even Nermal, as annoying as he is, couldn't budge me from this bed. Garfield, guess what? It's my twin cousins, Drusilla and Minerva. Hello, little kitty cat! Kitty cat! No, little no. kitty cat! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Hello, little kitty cat! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Not Drusilla and Minerva! Anything but Drusilla and Minerva! Quick, Woody! We've got to get out of here! Our lives are at stake! Run! Kitty cat! What do you mean it can't be that bad? It can be. Look! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Look! It's a puppy dog! Puppy dog! It's a 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 puppy dog! Close. Why doesn't John warn us when Drusilla and Minerva are visiting this half of the country? <laughs> well, we can't go home. Let's eat. I happen to know that one of our neighbors is barbecuing this afternoon. Well, the ribs will be ready soon, hon. Could you bring me more barbecue sauce? I have to do everything myself. Oh, ho, ho, ho. heavenly. Oh. Wow. Hey, I was here first. Those are my ribs. Ah, those ribs are mine. I've been planning to steal those ribs for days. I thought of stealing them first. Guys, guys, there's only one way to settle this. Let's divide them up. Good, Good idea. idea. I cannot wait to eat these delicious smelling ribs. <laughs> they look great. Oh, the one I just had was perfect. The ribs were calling to me up on that hilltop. <gasps> you don't want that. Let's get some of the ones that have meat on them. Huh? My ribs. You stole my ribs. Ribs? I haven't seen any ribs. Have you seen any ribs, Odie? <laughs> I'm not letting you get away with this. <laughs> Hello? Get me the animal control board. <laughs> Okay, calm down, sir. Give me a 
description of the cat and dog. Uh-huh, sure. I know that cat. The fat orange one. He took your ribs? <laughs> Gee, he usually goes after lasagna. Okay, I'll find him and the dog. I'm not used to being falsely accused of taking food. Hey, that was easy. Usually I'm guilty. Yeah. Hey, what's a big, fat, hairy idea? You're under arrest, cat. Rib stealing in the first degree. Hey, let go of my phone. Stop! Hey, it's been lovely, but, uh, bye. That won't stop him. This calls for more extreme measures. I'll have to try the old fake tail connected to the beehive trick. First, we take a fake tail. Then we connect it to a beehive. Perfect. Nice try, Cat, but I'm a little too observant for you. <laughs> We're gonna go to the one place he won't be able to chase us. Home. Not unless I can prove I didn't steal the ribs. But in order to prove it, I'd have to go out and investigate. Oh well, at least Aww. we're safe in here. There's a kitty cat and a dog. Hello, Hello little kitty, kitty cat. Hello, kitty cat. Hello, puppy dog. No. Run, Odie. Run for our lives. Puppy dog. Hello, little kitty cat. I'm tired too. Puppy dog. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Puppy dog. Let's play dress up. I don't know how you play dress up either, but uh. I'll bet you a year's worth of lasagna will hate it. I was right. Oh, we hate it. Let's play tea party. And then we'll do their nails. Come on, Odie. Let's make a break for it. Excuse me, ladies. Have you seen a fat orange cat and a real stupid-looking dog around here? Hey, you're no male model yourself. Thanks. You know, this disguise thing isn't a bad idea. You don't have to be a girl for very long, only until we find out who stole those ribs. I just hope we don't run into anyone we know. Hello, ladies. Especially him. So, I haven't seen you two before. I'm Normal, the cutest and coolest kitty cat on the planet. Oh, hello. My name is uh, Glenda, and this is my friend Odessa. <coughs> You're kind of cute, Nermo. I bet you're not as cute as that orange cat who lives down the street. What's his name? You don't mean Garfield. <laughs> oh, yes, Garfield. Cutest, handsomest cat in the world. Are we talking about the same Garfield? All he does is eat all day. I'm surprised he's not down at the old railroad yard with Harry, Hercules, and Rottweiler. They're lying around eating barbecued ribs. Ribs? <laughs> Stay away from those guys. They're bad news. Uh, well, okay. See you later, Nemo. Come on, Odie. They're 
heading for the railroad yard. Mm. Oh, mm. delicious. Simply delicious. Mm -mm. Hey, I thought we were going to save some of these for later. It is later. Mm. Mm. Oh. I know how we can clear our names. We'll put our disguises to use. Yoo-hoo! Could you uh, help a couple of us, lady? <laughs> How can we be of assistance to two lovely ladies? Care for a barbecued rib? Oh, I'd like you to take those spoons to someone. Hey! Uh, come this way. So pretty in this cute little dress. <laughs> That's such a good shade of lipstick for him. <laughs> and this must be Odie. Oh, he looks so adorable. <laughs> they were spying on us. <laughs> Come in here, interrupting our rib eating. Guys, you wouldn't hit a lady. Stop! With traps! Who where did this come from? Ow! Oh. Looks like I caught the culprits who stole that man's barbecued ribs. Never thought I'd be happy to see the dog catcher show up. <laughs> right. Guess I was wrong about that orange cat and the mutt doing it. These guys' owners will have to bail them out and pay for the ribs. <laughs> I thought you two ladies might need help, so I brought the dog catcher. Never thought I'd be glad to see Nermal show up either. So, am I cooler than Garfield or what? If you like, you can reward me with a kiss. Whoa. Mm. Oh. <gasps> Why, sure, Nermal. Close your eyes. <laughs> Come on, Odessa. This tacky railroad yard is no place for a lady. <laughs> See you later, Nermal. I didn't want to say anything, but that cat lady is almost as fat as Garfield. cookies, but I definitely could use another snack or two. Problem is, I'd have to get up and go to the kitchen. <laughs> Odie, huh? fetch me something to eat. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Odie, I don't eat squeaky rubber bones. Uh, nobody does, for that matter. <laughs> Except for you, of course. <laughs> Should I get up and go to the kitchen? Tough decision. So far, it's been a perfect day. Woke up at 10, had breakfast, took a little nap, had lunch, watched some TV, took a little nap, watched some... Oh! Oh, no. It's the end of the world, and I'm still hungry. <laughs> what the... Did that really happen? Yeah, everything seems to be all right. Probably some kind of hallucination due to extreme hunger. Let's grab something to eat. Ah! 
Okay, that's weird. Hi, Garfield. I came for John's checkup. Oh, sure. Uh, he's right over there. What? I came for John's checkup, remember? You called me yesterday and asked me to come take a look at him. <gasps> what is going on around here? Are you all right, Garfield? You look tense. <laughs> Have you been working late on your drawings again? Huh? My drawings? What drawings? Okay, John, let's take a look at you. You seem to be slightly overweight. I'll probably have to put you on a low-calorie diet. What about dining out tonight, Garfield? There's a new Siamese restaurant downtown supposed to be first class. I managed to book us a table. Uh, restaurant? Yeah, why not? It's a good idea. I have to get out of here! <laughs> <sighs> okay, much better, much, much better. I'm fully awake now. It was all a bad dream. Just a bad, bad, very weird dream. Hi, Garfield. Don't forget poker night on Friday. <laughs> huh? Yo, Garfield, my man. Where's your trash? It's collection day. <laughs> This crazy world where cats act like humans and humans act like cats. <laughs> Creepy. Maybe if I go back inside, everything will be back to normal. Oh, there you are. I'm finished with John. He is 10 pounds overweight. He will need to follow a diet of boiled rice for two weeks. Why are you staring at me like that? Aren't you going to answer your phone? There are days where I really don't understand you, Garfield. Hello? Uh, yes, just a second. For you, it's your publisher. Huh? Yes? I'm still waiting for your last drawings. If they are not on my desk tomorrow at 4 p.m., I'm tearing up your contract and you can find another publisher. My contract? Does this mean I have to work in order to survive? Yes, dear, like everyone else. Oh, you spend too much time daydreaming, Garfield. Snap out of it. Not a cat. Pick me up at eight. Huh? Oh, yeah, the, the uh, Siamese restaurant. What is this horrible world where cats have to work? There's no pulse, Dr. Cagliari. Don't panic, nurse. <laughs> Sorry, guys. As much as I like soap operas, I have to find out what this crazy world is all about. Parallel universes. Do they really exist? Or does one only find them in science fiction novels? Who are you? Parallel universes? Controversial physicist Dr. Angus McLoon is here with us to answer that question. Well, Shirley, theoretically, parallel universes could exist. They could probably be accessed through wormholes. I have just invented a device that can prove their existence. That's it. I'm in a parallel universe. I traveled through a wormhole and ended up in a parallel universe, which explains the identical Garfield who was going the other way, probably to my universe. That's fine. But how did I end up here in the first place? What a terrible mishap. What did I do? What did I do? Poor Garfield. Ah! Hey, you're the guy I just saw on TV. G -g 
Garfield, you're alive. Is that you? Uh, yeah, I guess. At least I hope so. If I weren't me anymore, I'd really miss myself. Because sometimes if I say I'm talking to me, I mean me and my, uh, well. Anyway, you're the Pearl Universe guy, right? Yes, but you already know that since I'm your best friend. You're my best friend? Wow, there's no accounting for taste. Anyway, what if I told you I'm not the Garfield you know and that I come from a parallel universe where humans wait on cats? <laughs> A parallel universe? <laughs> My invention! It worked! It worked! I accessed a parallel universe! I'm a genius, Garfield! A genius! Okay, okay, Doc, settle down. My last meal is about to make a comeback. After you disappeared, I mean, after the other you disappeared, I had to make sure whether or not you, I mean the other you, were really gone. Hence, my presence in this house. Very thoughtful of you, Doc. Now, how about telling me how I ended up here? Fair enough. Let's go to my lab. This is my latest invention, the who. The what? The who. The worm hole opener. This morning, I invited you, I mean the other you, over to my lab to show it to you. This apparatus can open wormholes and detect parallel universes. Nifty. How does it work? Oh, <laughs> it's a very complex operation. You need to throw the switches and hit the buttons in the exact right sequence, and I'm the only one who knows it. The odds of anyone else finding the right sequence are one in a million. Oh, yeah? A month's supply of lasagna that I beat the odds. <laughs> Be my guest. <laughs> I don't believe it. You did it! When lasagna is at stake, I always win. Get away from the sphere! Oh. Now! <gasps> oh no! Stinks. Cats are slaves. They have jobs. They have to wait on humans. It's disgusting. I'm really happy to go home. And your world stinks too. Cats do nothing all day but eat, sleep, and watch TV. It's so boring. I can't wait to go home. Hey, you have drawings to deliver tomorrow. Got it. And you have to pick up Arlene at 8. You're dining out. What did you say? Home sweet home. Hmm. Hi, Odie. Good to see you. Turn around. Don't thank me. I said don't thank me. Some things never change. Garfield, your lasagna's ready. Fresh out of the oven. And that's all right with me. Ah, it's so good to work again. That other world where cats just sit around doing nothing was dreadful. How dare you stand me up? Do you know how hard it is to get a table in that restaurant? There's a six-month waiting list. Restaurant? What restaurant? Oh, don't play games with me, Garfield. I am not in the mood. Oh, yes, of course. I, I, I can explain everything. Remember Doc McLoon? Well, he invented a device called the Who, the wormhole opener, and I was accidentally sucked into it and wound up in a parallel world identical to our world, except cats weren't working. Do you really expect me to believe that ridiculous story? Well, the wormhole part, at least. Oh, you are not going to get away with this, Garfield. And that's a promise. You know what? Maybe that other world wasn't so bad after all. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> Kick puppy off table, check. <laughs> Eating John's lunch for him, check. Tread new drapes. Check. Okay, that's everything on my to-do list for today. Huh? <laughs> Here, please send this off. In case you're wondering, I just sent that DVD I made of you misbehaving to Dr. Whipple. No, not Dr. Whipple. <laughs> I want to watch a really mindless game show featuring people dressed up as large chickens. I don't care what you want to watch, Garfield. We're going to watch Dr. Whipple. As you know, I specialize in teaching obedience to pets, especially cats who don't know how to behave and are lazy, rude, and impossible. I hear there are such cats. Yesterday on this show, I showed you one of the worst behaved cats I've uh, ever uh, come across. Here's a tape of how kittikins used to be. <laughs> Hey, seems like my kind of guy. In fact, Kittikins looks kind of familiar. Since then, I have put Kittikins through my no-fail guaranteed pet obedience training, and here he is. <clears throat> Kittikins, would you like to chase this bird? Mm. No. I'll just around the way. <laughs> You see, you can train your disobedient pet with my exclusive line of DVDs, what? tapes, books, computer software, pet Don't food, worry, Garfield. I'm not going to order all that expensive item. equipment. <sighs> Good. For a minute there, I thought... Come on in. It's open. John, you didn't. You wouldn't. You couldn't. You did. Come with me, cat. Oh. Oh. Farewell, Odie. I'll be back. But I may not be me when I return. <sighs> John. How could you do this to me? Oh, Whoa. good morning, cat. <clears throat> now, if you do as you're told, we can get through this in a hurry. After several hours of my training, you will be a tame, docile Whoa. cat like Kittikins here. Why does Kittikins look so familiar to me? Huh? First training method, the sound chamber. This will instill in you a sense of warning if you misbehave. Don't scratch. Don't mistreat puppies. Eat what you've been I'll be back in about an hour. No. All right, it's an hour later. Fine. We're off to a good start. Uh, 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 this is to break you of your atrocious habit of kicking small puppies off of tables. Whenever you kick the robotic puppy off, well, just try it and see what happens. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I'm not taking this lion down. Uh. 
I know just how you feel, pal. And now it's time to eat. Why do I have the feeling this is the first time ever I'm not going to like doing that? All right, here is your food. <laughs> Kitty Crunch, dry nuggets, styrofoam flavor, and here is my dinner. Prime rib with mashed potatoes, gravy, cream corn, and apple pie a la mode for dessert. Ooh, yum and double yum. You must eat your food and not eat my food. Because do you know what will happen if you try to eat my food? <laughs> oh, ouch. Ouch. That's right. If you try for my food, a half-ton safe will drop on you. So I noticed. Now. Make the correct choice. Cat, every time you reach for the prime rib, the safe will drop on you. Don't you realize this? <laughs> then why do you keep reaching for the prime rib? Because it's just the way I like it, medium rare. Good job. Now you've had the complete program. And somehow I su su survived. You'll be perfectly behaved when we do my TV show in one hour. <sighs> that was awful. In fact, it was worse than awful. It would have to get better just to be awful. Hi, Garfield. Hi, Kittykins. Hey, how do you know my name, Kittykins? Wait. You're Harry, that cat from my neighborhood. <laughs> That's me. Well, what are you doing pretending to be a tame cat named Kittykins? You're as bad as I am. I got me a job. I pretend to be a successful result of Doc Whipple's training, and every day he pays me my weight in tuna fish. He can afford that? Are you kidding? You know how much this guy makes off these stupid lessons he sells? How much does he make? Enough to pay you your weight in tuna. Well, that's a lot of tuna. Yeah, play along. Help him sell the stuff, and you could have the same great job I have. Hmm. Which would I rather have? My weight and tuna every day? Or my integrity? Ooh, these moral decisions are hard. And now, the world's foremost trainer of problem pets, Dr. Wimble! <laughs> Thank you. Today, you will see the results of my greatest challenge. Worst behaved cat I'd ever seen. Garfield. I put him through my extreme housebreaking program, and now you will see the results. <laughs> Garfield. Garfield, do you have any desire to mistreat small puppies? Do you have any desire to steal food or shred drapes? <laughs> that cat has become so well behaved. We have to order Dr. Whipple's DVDs, tapes, and books. But we don't have a cat. Oh, very good, Garfield. Now, is there anything you'd like to do? Yes, this. <laughs> <laughs> Catch him! Going down. <laughs> that cat is not well behaved. I thought Dr. Whipple had trained him not to do things like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I have to go tend to, uh, matters. <laughs> Got it, you. Struggle all you want, cat. You ain't getting away. There he is, the cat who's trying to ruin my business. Who, me? Sweet, well-behaved me? But it won't work. The public is too stupid to catch on. Hey, so what if my training program doesn't work? They still send me tons of money. <laughs> Those idiots. I got a sweet racket going here, and you won't stop me. Dr. Whipple, they're hearing you on national television. They can't hear me. I left my microphone on stage. They can, uh... 
Do you have any further words for our listening audience, Doctor? You miserable little... I'm taking my cat home, thank you very much. Thanks for the lessons, Doc. Dr. Whipple, the phone lines are jammed with customers canceling orders and demanding refunds. Why didn't you teach that cat how to behave? I did. Unfortunately, that's how he behaves. Garfield, I wanted to say again how sorry I am I sent you to that terrible doctor. Oh, I'd say uh, eight more apologies ought to do it. <sighs> well, Odie, I'm home and I'm still me. Dr. Whipple didn't whip me into shape the way he wanted. Oh, that reminds me. It's time for his show. The Dr. Whipple show, normally seen at this time, will never be seen again. Wow, this couldn't have gone better. Instead, stay tuned for a really mindless game show featuring people dressed as large chickens. I was wrong. That's better. Mind if I stop at the market and buy a few things? Mind? As long as they're edible, why should we mind? I think I'll take a nap while Odie sticks his head out the window and lets his tongue flap in the breeze. <coughs> hey, for a dog, that's heavyweight intellectual activity. Oh, I dream about some edible things. Boy, it's a beautiful night. A clear sky and all those stars. It's the kind of night that makes you wonder if there are people out there. <laughs> People on other worlds are from other times visiting us. I'll be home in 90 nanoseconds, Miriam. Jeez, uh, Puffs, I got you a 500 year supply of those just 300 years ago. All right, all right. I'll pick up some before I get home. I'm going to have to stop off at Earth in the 21st century. Okay, okay. I'll get you a jelly donut too. You'll have to wait just outside the door, Odie. Garfield, are you coming? I can't answer you. In addition to the fact that I can't talk, I'm also asleep. We'll be back soon. Okay, a 500 year supply of cheese puffs and a jelly donut. I guess that's a balanced diet. I know what you're thinking. It's just a little harmless spider, not hurting anyone. And you're right, of course. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna swat that spider! I got you! No, I got you. Now! Okay, this time for sure. Okay, then this time! Okay, this is it, spider. You're toast! You're an ex-spider! You're gonna be flatter than one of John's souffles.
then why do I have the feeling I really don't want to know? John? Odie? Anybody I know? I'll even settle for Nermo. Hello, somebody! I don't know where I am, but I have the feeling they like cheese here. Ah, at last. Someone I know. Hey, Squeak. Boy, you are so not Squeak. Sorry, I just remembered to make an appointment to not be here now. We're here. I don't suppose it would do any good to mention that I never chase Mike. Guys, give me a break. I haven't eaten and it's dinner time. That's right, dinner time. Hey, I think they're taking me to dinner. This is great. This is not good. Oh, no. Ketchup. <gasps> oh, no. Lettuce and tomato. Hey, would you please hold the onion? Thank you. <laughs> I think the sandwich had better be to go. One of these must start it, or turn on the CD player or something. I don't like Harry sandwiches anyway. There must be some instructions in here somewhere on how to fly this thing. An instruction manual. I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved! Okay, how to steer craft. See page 19. Page 19, page... Ah, here it is. Page 19. To steer craft, grab hold of the bleen and rotate it into the Zierman position for five freebs. I'm not saved! I'm not saved! I'm not saved! Another weird world. Who or what lives on it? It's probably some horrible monster even worse than those mice people. <gasps> Something's coming. One of those horrible monsters I know. Here it comes. It's gonna be the ugliest, most hideous thing in the universe. I just know it. Oh, hey, who are you? I'm Garfield the cat. You can't be Garfield, I'm Garfield. Oh yeah? If you're Garfield, then answer me this. What do you do all day? I sleep, eat, and annoy small puppies. What do you do all day? I sleep, eat, and annoy puppies. Hey, hey maybe, maybe you, you are Garfield. Garfield. But, if, but you're if you're Garfield, Garfield then who am I? I know who you are. You're Garfield. Isn't there anything different about us? Well, there is this one thing. Every so often, I turn into one of these. horrifying, awful experience. And he was so cute up until the near end. I wonder where I'm gonna wind up now? Huh? Hey, I know this house. This is our house. This is where I live. I'm home, I'm home. It's almost time for lunch and I'm home. Hmm, from that smell, I can tell John's cooking up something wonderful. Garfield, what good timing. I have lunch ready. <laughs> you look shocked. Didn't you know we're all spider people on this planet? Aren't we, Odie? And I cooked you a nice fly lasagna. <laughs> 
No, no! And after we finish our flies, we're going to indulge in our favorite pastime. After him! Swat him the way he always swatted us! <laughs> Stop! I like spiders! I always like spiders! I never heard a spider. See? I'll even stoop to lying. Please! No! Don't swipe the cat! All done shopping, Odie. I hope Garfield wasn't too bored waiting in the car. You okay in there, Garfield? Garfield? Odie! Garfield's missing! No! <gasps> Hey, mister, have you seen an orange cat? Uh, my cat is missing. He's... What did you buy? A 500-year supply of cheese puffs. Why? Oh, never mind that. My cat is missing. Let me put these in my vehicle, and I'll help you look for your cat. Hey, not only is your cat gone, but so is my vehicle. <laughs> Maybe whoever took your vehicle took my cat. We need to call the police. No, you don't need the police. I have this remote homing device to bring my vehicle back when I lose it, or leave it somewhere. My only chance is to get back to that spaceship thingy car. Oh no! It's taking off without me! This is a waste of time. I'm calling the police to look for my cat and... I'm telling you, relax. See? <gasps> Garfield! Garfield, it's okay. You're back and you're safe. But I'm not... I need... I... Okay, dokie. You got your cat back. I gotta get home. I know. I don't know what happened either, Garfield. And I have a strange feeling we never will. Oh, confound it! I forgot Miriam's jelly donut! Emergency. Will you please change the channel before I get severe brain rot? <laughs> no, that's the volume, Odie. Did you forget everything I taught you? It's the button on your left. Oh, first the soap opera, right now, now so talk show. So well, no, wait. Sir Leo that's Sir Leo. has been under a great deal of stress lately. Ever since he broke up with Paul E, the paparazzi have been harassing him. Paul E is the Siamese supermodel turned actress who co-stars alongside Sir Leo in his latest movie, Cat on a Hot Bin Lid. The movie has gotten brave reviews, but it hasn't done so well in the box office. No, and that's been a huge disappointment for Sir Leo. He hoped his celebrity status would bring this art house film the success of his previous blockbuster. <laughs> Some people have real problems. My remote control doesn't work, and am I complaining? No. Turn it off, will you, Odie? <laughs> I don't think anybody saw us. 
No one except the entire neighborhood. You look like you just robbed a bank. <laughs> what are you hiding under there, plutonium? An alien specimen? It's moving. Uh, John, please tell me that's a live lobster in there. Hello. Beginning to feel rather cramped, if you don't mind. An articulate live lobster? You cloned me. I have a copyright on that, you know. Garfield, Odie, this is Sir Leo. <laughs> He's going to be staying with us for a little while. He's in need of a vacation. <laughs> Sir Leo, here? Well, this isn't exactly the French Riviera. Liz is Sir Leo's vet. She thought our house would be a quiet place for him to get away from the paparazzi and recover from his nervous breakdown. That's right. You'll be safe here. The only danger is being bored to death. <laughs> and Odie's saliva. So what's with the nervous breakdown? I thought you movie stars had it pretty easy. Not quite. I was thrown into show business when I was just a kitten. I never lived the life of an ordinary cat. Well, come on, then. I'll show you around. But don't expect any special celebrity treatment. Hungry? Famished. <laughs> if I may, what exactly are these? Uh, fish sticks? <laughs> hmm. Not sure my nutritionist would approve. Man, movie stars have it rough. I'll eat them if you don't. <laughs> Not bad. They're here. Who's here? Them! The fans! The paparazzi! Well, it's a sea of people out there. How did they find you? <sighs> they always do. I guess it's back to the fast lane for me. Or maybe not. I could pretend to be you. I mean, I'm practically identical, right? Okay, okay, so I uh, got a head start on the fish sticks. But no one will notice a difference. Go get him, tiger. I owe you one. <laughs> Why can't they ever resist the need to Today, celebrity cat Sir Leo spent an entire day signing autographs and posing hey, with Garfield, fans. Hurry up, we're on TV! <laughs> Unlike his recent public appearances, Sir Leo was in top form. Our crew got the exclusive footage. Brilliant! You make a better Sir Leo than I do. So? When do I get to ride in the limo? <laughs> Have fun, Garfield. Uh, uh, I think I'll go to bed. Hmm. When you get home, I'll have Jean-Louis put you on that papaya diet again. I don't think I like Jean-Louis, whoever he is. Anyway, I hate to make you work during your vacation meal, but I couldn't pass up a TV commercial. Sounds fun. How much uh, work can that possibly be? Scene three, take five. And action! Cat Fiat puts the cat in caviar. Meow. Cut! Yes, um, Sir Leo, that was good, but let's try that meow again. Scene three, take six. And... Action! Yeah. Cut! Good. Uh, why don't we try it a little more suave <sighs> this time? Scene three, take seven. Meow. Scene three, take 25. Meow. Scene three, take 57. <sighs> Meow. Scene two, take 74. Well, I guess that's a wrap. Yeah, 
a change. Step on it. We're late for the premiere. I'm warning you. There better be popcorn. <laughs> No, it's not me you want, it's him. Leo, wake up! Your fans, they're outside. They want you. No, they want you. Oh, no, 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 no. Here, I, I'm not cut out for this celebrity stuff. I want my life back. Hey, who wanted to ride in the limo? Who said celebrities had it easy? The fans, the paparazzi, they're your problems now. All right, then. They're gonna get a taste of the real me, or him, or me, or, uh, you know what I mean. Thank you, my friend. You've just brought me a lot of free publicity. Woohoo! Yeah, we'll see who gets the last laugh. Meow! So predictable. Here's your paycheck, Squeak. <laughs> Today, Sir Leo fans discovered a different side of their favorite celebrity. Unlike his popular Deverminator character, it turns out the star is a rodent enthusiast. The autograph session ended abruptly when a swarm of mice attacked fans and reporters, forcing them to flee. Could this be the end of Sir Leo's career? Me? A rodent lover? I can never show my face in Hollywood again. You mean my face? You stole my life, remember? Well, you can have it back. Anything. Just help me get out of this mess. So you're telling us that wasn't the real Sir Leo? The whole thing was a hoax? A publicity stunt? Yes, that's right. Sir Leo desperately needed a vacation, so uh, we hired a lookalike to impersonate him for a few days. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sir Leo's belching, pie-throwing lookalike. <laughs> Who needs fame when you can be the star of your own house? Because every cat deserves luxury. Caviar puts the cat in caviar. Meow. Well, I do all the work and he gets all the glory. And the paycheck. Life is so unfair. Garfield, dinner! But I'm not complaining. <laughs>
I smell something terrific. I smell something baked and terrific. Oh. John is baking pies. No bread, no cake, no pies. Be oh, bread and cake and pies. <laughs> no, maybe muffins. <laughs> muffins, tarts, rolls, maybe cookies. I'm baking dough balls, Garfield. Maybe Danish, maybe prune Danish, maybe dough balls? We're driving to the cove to go fishing today. <laughs> dough balls make great bait to catch fish. <laughs> Yuck. What a cruel thing to do to a fish. Hi, Pupster. Going fishing with John? No, not me. You won't catch me out in that leaky boat of his getting seasick. I know, no, no. I don't care about the beautiful scenery. The only beautiful scenery I want to see is right here. If you're looking for food, Garfield, I packed everything to take on the fishing trip. <sighs> Ah, fishing. The most glorious sport in all the world. Ah, fishing. The most glorious sport in all the world. Nah, I don't care about the fish, but I'll do anything for lunch. The water's so peaceful in this little cove. You know, guys, catching fish isn't the important part. It's the peace and the serenity and just being out in nature that matters. Fishermen always say that when they've been out three hours and haven't caught so much as a sardine. I don't care if I catch a fish. It doesn't matter to me one bit if I catch... <laughs> a fish! I've got a fish on my line! I did it! I did it! John did it! John did it! Alert the media. Hey, there he is! Oh, he's a beaut! He's an hors d'oeuvre. There we go. I knew my dough balls were the perfect bait. I'll put an even bigger one on and catch a bigger fish. Pasta and Alfredo sauce. I don't care if you are thirsty. Hey, we're surrounded by water. Try some. Find food. Gotta find food. Uh -oh. Ooh, that was close. Chopper almost spotted me. Now what was I doing? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Looking for dinner. Hey, there's something. Yeah, a dough ball. No fish in its right mind would fight under one of those things. A one, Mama's favorite food. Oh. Mama will be so happy with this worm. Mama, Mama, look what I brought ya. Junior, you can't keep a dog down here. A dog? Oh, that's funny. I thought he was a boy. What's wrong with him, Mama? He's a dog, Junior. He needs air. Oh, well, uh, where can he get them? Hi, Mom. Hi, Junior. Hey, I know that dog. He needs air. 
here. He sure does. Hey, Bernie! Bernie Blowfish! That dog, he saved my life a little while ago. Now we gotta save his. You're full of air. Sure thing, Red. I'll give him one of my big, beautiful bubbles. <laughs> Where's Odie? Odie? <laughs> That's funny. We're out in the middle of the cove and there's no sign of him. I guess he fell overboard. <laughs> fell overboard? Odie! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to do my one heroic deed for the year. Huh? He must be a goner. He couldn't breathe down here. Thanks again for throwing me back, dog. There's an orange cat running out of air over there. Friend of yours, dog? Yeah. Come on! <laughs> Well, this is a nice place you got here. Your friend here saved my life. Would you like a little tour of the bottom of the cove? Oh, yeah, sure. We really like it down here. It's wet, but it's home. Well, it looks like rush hour. This is the main underwater thoroughfare. Ooh. And there's our traffic cop. <laughs> Does he ever give out traffic tickets? Uh, only when he catches someone swimming over the speed limit. This is one of those new fast food places that are popping up. They have a swim through window. Anything tasty to eat? I'm famished. <laughs> Would you like a worm to go? I'm not that famished. That reminds me. I promised to find Mama a worm. Uh, see you later. The seahorses are at the starting gate. The track looks fast, but a little wet. Well, it looks like some sort of uh, race track. It is, and it looks like a race is just about to start. And there they go. Sea Biscuit is off to an early date, followed by Pony Boy, Little Squirt, and Amphibian up the rail. Approaching the finish line, Pony Boy and Sea Biscuit. Pony Boy and Sea Biscuit. And it's Sea Biscuit, the winner. Chopper! That's my brother. It's Chopper. We gotta do something. I think I know. Hey, hey! Run! Uh-oh. I'm fish food. Here, fella, have a dough ball. I caught another fish? Chopper's heading out of the coat and into the ocean. You saved us. Again. How can we show our appreciation? Well, the air's getting a little thin in here, so if you don't mind. Certainly. 
Barney? At your service. Going up? Whoa! Garfield? Odie? They must have gotten knocked overboard along with most of my gear. Oh, no. No! They were such wonderful friends. Huh? So cute. So adorable. <clears throat> Don't try to cheer me up, Garfield and Odie. I'm missing Garfield and Odie. Three, two, one. Garfield! Odie! You're safe! You're safe! <clears throat> Not if you keep hugging us like that. Let's celebrate. <laughs> we'll have lunch. Except that there's no lunch. We're stuck here until somebody comes by and rescues us. Stuck out here with nothing to eat? In the meantime, uh, dough ball? Uh, no thanks. I've seen what those things do to fish. <laughs> Don't worry. Someone will be along soon. I'm sorry all we have to eat are these... dough balls. Ugh. Yeah, real sorry. Uh, could you pass some mustard, Odie? Garfield, I'm impressed. I didn't think you liked educational programs, and yet here you are, fascinated by one and unable to take your eyes off the set. Fish, beautiful, delicious fish. Halibut can grow as large as 900 pounds like this one. <laughs> Give me that fish. Give me that fish and an equal weight of french fries. I'll get it. I must have seafood. I crave seafood. I need seafood. Oh, oh. hi, Liz. <laughs> Huh? Captain Barnacle's Ocean Treat Doggy Delight. Uh -uh. This is not seafood. This is a can. Coyote, a can. Put it in the water. See if it swims. Your fish? In this house? Fish? Did he say fish? He said fish. The man said fish. I heard him say fish. It's just while I'm out of town visiting my mother. I need someone to take care of them. I don't think that would be such a good idea, Liz. Why not? Well, for one thing, Garfield's putting out tartar sauce and lemons. Should I bread them? Fry them? Scampi is so delicious. Come on, John. You can get Garfield to behave himself. I'll bring my fish over in the morning. If you say so, Liz. Bye. Garfield! Liz is leaving her pet fish here while she's out of town. We'll leave them alone, or else. Have no fear, Arbuckle. I'll behave. I won't eat Liz's fish. I'll treat them with total respect. Not now, Odie. Can't you see I'm busy lying through my teeth? I'm having trouble sleeping. Maybe I'll try counting sheep. One, two, three, four. Oh, this isn't working. I know. One, two, three, oh, four. This is so much better. Five. I didn't know you owned so many fish, Liz. <sighs> it's been a hobby of mine for years. Three schools are enough for me. <sighs> I would like some more trout, though. <laughs> mm, sounds like fish. <laughs> That is the most beautiful buffet I've ever seen in my life. See you in a week. Have a good trip, and don't worry about your fish. I had a long talk with Garfield, and I have every confidence he'll leave them alone. <laughs> oh. 
I've got to stop Garfield from eating all her fish. Now, would you be a better appetizer or a main course? You look more like a side dish. Ooh, and you're kind of sweet looking. I'll save you for dessert. You will not lay a paw on Liz's fish. Of course not. That's why I have a net. Do not touch the fish. Do you hear me? Do not touch the fish. If you harm so much as a fin on any of them, you'll never see lasagna in this house again. Ugh. Gee, he sounds like he means it. All right, then. I can control myself. I will leave this room and not come back with a fisher here. <sighs> Five seconds. That's three seconds longer than I thought I'd last. You'll do for a start. Hmm, not bad. Oh. Hey, I didn't think one little fish could be so fattening. Oh. Oh, yeah. That was a puffer fish, the kind that swells up. Help! Somebody help me, or put me in a parade or something. Uh. I'd better watch what I eat. Hmm. I don't know what kind of fish you are, but you look very tasty. Electric dancing fish, similar to electric eel. Okay, it's seafood I want, and it's seafood I'm gonna get. I need a menu. Ugh. Canadian spritzer fish. Wonder what he does. Okay, now we know what a Canadian spritzer fish does. Australian seltzer fish. Let's see what it says about the Australian seltzer fish. Huh? The Australian seltzer fish is a close relative of the Canadian spritzer fish. I should have known. All right, your turn, Greenie. <laughs> Let's see what you are. Huh, here you are. Japanese judo fish. Oh no. Oh yeah? Well, you won't laugh at this. Hey, he wasn't bad. Let's see what he is, or uh, was. The flying fish of Framistan. <gasps> Help! 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 No, don't worry, Liz. Garfield isn't bothering your fish. In fact, I just saw him flying by. <gasps> flying by? <laughs> All of these things that are happening to me, they couldn't happen. This has to be a dream. Oh, I sure hope this is a dream. Oh. 
<sighs> All rise for his honor, the Honorable Oliver Octavius. Oh, my. Order in the fish court. Bailiff, who is on trial today? Garfield the cat, your honor. Either this is a dream, or I've somehow learned to breathe underwater. Garfield the cat is accused of eating fish. Hey. Garfield cat, how do you play? Well, maybe I ate a few fish. 7,322 fish. Well, that's not a lot. I mean, some of them were minnows and shrimp. You, you fish eater, you. Yes, yes, I admit it. I ate the fish. I ate a lot of fish. I even ate fish with chips. Fish with chips and malt vinegar. If I spare your life, will you promise never to eat another fish? I said, if I spare your life, will you promise never to eat another fish? I'm thinking it over. I've heard enough. Jury, what do you say? Guilty! Garfield Cat, you have been found guilty by a jury of your dinner. I hereby sentence you to Larry. Larry? Who's Larry? He's Larry. What? Hey, what? What? Come on in. I brought my fish as we discussed. Her fish? We'll put them right on the table here. Do you think two goldfish are safe in the house where Garfield lives? Sure. Garfield won't bother them. Come on. Let me show you what I'm working on in my studio. She only has two goldfish? <laughs> Pretty cute goldfish. Well, it's time for breakfast. Time to make a sandwich. Mmm. Tartar sauce sandwich. Delicious. Come on. You didn't really think I was gonna eat Liz's goldfish, did you? That's too rotten even for me. In fact, I'm giving up eating fish altogether. After that dream, I'll never eat another fish again. Until next week. probably wondering how we got into this mess, right? Well, it all started earlier today with a picnic by the lake. It was a pretty good picnic. John, Liz, the dog, and me. Oh, and the food was pretty good, too. I think I put it best when I said... I'm full. I'm full. I'm so full I couldn't eat another bite if my life depended on it. And for dessert, I brought along a strawberry what? cheesecake. Okay, maybe one more bite. Garfield. Or two. Or 78. Garfield, this cheesecake is for all of us. And it's for later. <laughs> Liz and I are going for a walk around the lake. Do not eat the cheesecake while we're gone. And this is where John made his customary cheap threat. <laughs> if you do, you can walk the 20 miles home. Hey, that wasn't a bad one. <laughs> Come on, John. I need to stretch my legs. 
What do you think the chances are that Cheesecake will be there when we get back? Oh, it'll be there. It'll probably be inside Garfield, but it'll be there. I was glad they went for a walk. Now there was nothing that could interrupt my nap. <sighs> <laughs> Well, almost nothing. I do not want to play a game. Oh, all right. I'll play a game. How about if we play Go Get It? You don't know how to play Go Get It? Okay, then I'll teach you. Go get it. It's my favorite game, Go Get It. If they put it on television, they'd make a fortune. Mm, that cheesecake looks mighty good. No, I need to sleep, and I don't want to walk home. Oh, you skip me a little more rest. And again. It's only 20 miles. Anyway, while I was contemplating that dilemma, Odie was in search of his bone. Now, I wasn't there for this part, but I found out later he looked everywhere for it, in the bushes, behind rocks. There was no sign of it. He was just about ready to give up when he spotted it. It was a little wolf, just a couple of weeks old. Odie thought the wolf was very cute, but he wasn't about to let it have his bone. Well, he wasn't until he realized how hungry the little wolf was. Odie discovered the joys of sharing your food with someone else. I'll have to try that sometime. Maybe not this millennium. After a while, Odie realized that there wasn't much nourishment in that old bone. The little wolf still looked hungry. Where to get food, he wondered. Where to get food. But of course, there was only one answer. Odie brought the little wolf back to the picnic area where I was in my usual habitat, dreamland. <sighs> Odie usually doesn't do sneaky things, but I guess hanging around with me for all these years has uh, had its effect on him. <laughs> Meanwhile, John and Liz were finishing their hike. Don't you want to get back while there's still a chance of a small piece of cheesecake? You know, sometimes I don't have enough faith in Garfield. He's basically a good cat. <laughs> you watch. I'll bet the cheesecake is untouched. John was wrong. It had been touched, all right, but just not by me. Good, because I can't wait to have some of that cheesecake. Odie probably wasn't worried about what they do to him. He was worried about the little wolf. Just give me a small piece of cheesecake, Liz. I don't want to... Huh? We'll be small, about the size of a crumb. I... How could you? How could you eat that entire cheesecake while we were away? Huh? I didn't eat the cheesecake, honest. On my honor as an overweight pussycat, I did not eat one bite of that cheesecake. Did I eat that cheesecake? No. Amazingly, I did not. You're lying, Garfield. If you didn't, who did? Odie would never do anything that sneaky. John, you're not going to make him walk home. No, but I should. I'll figure out a suitable punishment when we get home. <sighs> hey, this feels like we didn't eat all the food. How did that happen? We got the car all packed up, and we headed back to town. It was probably about then that the little wolf's mother arrived. She must have picked up the scent or something. She was pretty determined to get her baby back, no matter how far she had to follow. All the way home, I was angry. 
I'm innocent, I tell you. I never touched that cheesecake. Mm. The one time I didn't take the food and I'm being punished for it. <laughs> John dropped Liz off at her place and then we headed for home. I'll be over after I finish some chores. And someone else was heading for our home too. Of course, John was still mad at me. How could you? I didn't. Huh? <laughs> Bodie was worried that he'd get in trouble for giving the cheesecake to the wolf. Or maybe that somebody would put his new friend in a zoo or something. How could you? When nobody was looking, he snuck the little wolf out. Bodie told the little wolf to stay there in the garage and he'd bring him food. He was probably going to borrow another cheesecake and they'd blame it on me. about then that our visitor arrived. About the time I thought John had forgiven me for the cheesecake incident. Dinner, Garfield! Well, it's about time. Maybe John finally realized I'm innocent. Of this, anyway. I'm having a porterhouse steak, baked potato with everything, glazed carrots, sautéed <laughs> mushrooms, and a dinner roll. You get Kitty Crunch dry imitation cat food. It's not fair! I'm being punished for eating an entire cheesecake, and I didn't even get to eat the entire cheesecake. That's all you're getting for the rest of the month. Oh, I'll bet Odie would enjoy that yummy piece of steak. Odie, here, boy. He's just doing this to torment me. It's working, I'm tormented. Come on, Odie, come enjoy the steak. Huh? Mm. I didn't. <laughs> The word you're looking for is wolf. What do we do, Garfield? I think it's obvious what we do. We run! So that's how we wound up being chased around John's house by a savage wolf. You understand now? No, 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 no. Don't unpause the video. Too late. It looks like this is it for us, Garfield. Do you have any final regrets? Yes, I regret that I didn't eat the cheesecake. <laughs> I've arranged for the pet control people to take them back to the woods where they belong. Thanks, Liz. Oh, by the way, I examined a little wolf cub. He had strawberry cheesecake in the fur around his mouth. You mean he... Uh, not Garfield? Just because I can't talk doesn't mean you can't listen to me. Come on, Garfield. I think I owe you a good meal to say I'm sorry. I think about a 10 lasagna apologies in order. I make that 11. <laughs> 